Hello and welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers, Chris McGee, Derek Fisher, Big Game James Worthy, Mike Bresnahan. Allie's going to join us in a little bit. Uh, what a game. Great game from start to finish. Lakers get the win on the road for the first time since January 25th when they won in Brooklyn. And it's the first time they've won in Toronto since 2014. They beat them last year, but it was in Tampa, Florida. A uh, huge win for the Lakers. Gutty effort. Great execution down the stretch, both ends of the field. Yeah, I got to give him a, just a little worthy clap because we've been waiting. Um, we've, been, we've been waiting for uh, this team to compete like this and play hard and match the other team's energy, meet force with force. And we also have been looking for them to have quicker starts, which they did in this game. I thought Gabriel... Uh, when I saw him inserted into the starting lineup, I've been watching him, his energy. They just need energy to match whatever the opponents are putting up there. And I thought tonight, this team made a decision to be together, stay connected. Uh, they played defense very well. I thought Westbrook had a really good start at getting assists and getting people involved, kept his confidence going. And I know we got an interview coming up right now, so I'm going to go to that. And then we'll come back with fish and bread. Good work, James. Hold your thoughts. <clears throat> LeBron James in Toronto with Mike Trudell. All right, LeBron, a lot of guys made a lot of plays tonight. I want to start you with Russ making the steal, the buzzer beater, or I guess just before uh, the buzzer there. What did you see on that play? How key was it? Uh, well, we followed the instructions from our coaches staff. We said if we could get him on the sideline, we want to try to trap him first, see if we could force a turnover. And uh, we was able to uh, trap pressures over there on the sideline. Russ got the steal, went down, um, stepped on the line, and then had the, the, the mind frame to put his foot back behind the line and knock that thing down with .4. It was big time from him. You did a little bit of everything, some of the big things and a lot of little things, so weak side rotations, pinning guys on the glass. Uh, what did you have to do tonight to just find a way to get a win for this franchise that's really needed one? Uh, should just try to do whatever it takes. Uh, I'm just having a lot of fun playing the game, you know, and it's not always about the wins and losses for me. It's about the joy, and I'm, you know, I know the season hasn't gone the way we would like it to go, but I'm having a blast just playing this game and, and to be able to come out here in front of some of the best fans in the, in the NBA, so it was fun. You have some fun playing in front of your boy Drake? Oh, absolutely. That's my brother, man. Uh, we support each other in, in every endeavor that we do. Um, I come here to his home, uh, hometown. He make it, me feel like it's my hometown, and whenever he comes to where I'm at, it's vice versa. So uh, it's always an honor to be in front of him. He's, uh, such greatness right there, and it's an honor for me to be here for sure. No doubt. And last one for you. You're now right around 20 points uh, from passing Carl Malone for second on the all-time scoring list. And so what's the perspective on that, and, and how do you focus on it? How do you think about it? Um... <laughs> You know, anytime I'm linked with the greats, and I know I've said this over and over, but it's just the truth of uh, the matter it is. And anytime I'm linked with the greats, it's very humbling. Um, uh, it, it doesn't make sense to me, um, you know, for where I come from and uh, watching, you know, this league and, and watching this NBA logo and so many great players that play this game. Uh, to hear my name ranked up there with the best, um, it's, a, it's a true honor for me and uh, for my hometown of Akron, Ohio. We appreciate it, LeBron. I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah, LeBron James, 36 tonight. 16 of those were in the fourth quarter, and he is now 18 points behind, tying Karl Malone for number two all-time. Karl Malone has held that spot for 22 years, so 19 more points to move in to that spot. A um, lot to break down here. we got a long highlight that you're going to enjoy. Um, the unsung heroes were great. Wenyan Gabriel, um, Austin Reason, Aaron, uh, Avery Bradley, I'm glad you brought those guys up. Big game, James. Um, LeBron was fantastic, but I think we got to start with Russ. He had his great moment uh, there at the end of that regulation, getting the steal on the sideline, moving his foot just an inch back, hitting that three. And when he looked down at his stat line, he had a triple-double tonight, 22, 10, and 10 uh, fish, four threes, but none bigger than the one he hit at the end. Yeah, I mean, you know, his individual performance, um, you know, I think he, throughout the game tonight, there was uh, – uh, his body language was relaxed. It was it was confident, um, not pressing as much to make things happen. And, and there there are mistakes here and there. But when when a guy that has the usage rate that he does, like three or four turnovers over the course of a night, when you're handling the basketball 50 or 60 times, you know that that's not a big number. Um, you know, and and what I love the most, I think about. The way this game ended, especially, was was seeing the way his teammates reacted 
to those good moments for him personally, which that shows us some of those signs that we talked about pregame about this team being connected or not. Sometimes the, the play looks like it's not as connected of a group, but when you see guys celebrating one another, you know, it tells you what Frank Vogel has been saying. These guys still care and still believe in one another. Um, and, yeah, it's an indication of, like, on a given night, if you have LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, and then a guy that didn't play tonight, Anthony Davis, you can figure out a way to win a game. Chance. And, uh, you know, it helps when you make 19 threes, which is yeah. – that's always a challenge for the Lakers. You know, so when you're plus 21 and three points scored, right – 12 threes for the Raptors, 19 for the Lakers. That's a recipe for success in the NBA in 2022. It's been nice to be on the positive side mm -hmm. of it, <laughs> right? Yes. I mean, we were talking, you know, these last three first quarters previous to the Toronto game, they were minus 39 from the three-point line. You flip that tonight, big game, James. Like Fish said, you have 33 assists. Yeah. I know that's a big one for you. Yeah. That's a different that, team. That, that's always a big one for me. And it started in the first quarter with Westbrook. He was getting into the paint, looking around, and he was throwing outlet passes. He was, he was getting other people involved. And, you know, I, this team can still do something. You know, I, I love the supporting cast they have now with Reeves and Malik Monk. And, and, you know, we didn't have Tucker tonight. So there's a recipe for success still if they can – play like they played tonight and love it and enjoy it and really be connected as a team um, it's just good to see that they they know they can do it and without AD without Carmelo without uh, Tucker this is what we thought they could do all season long with or without some players when they play you know together and play as a team so it's never too late to arrive at a certain point, and who knows? we got 12 more games, Brez. You know, you have to wonder what this will do for Russell Westbrook. I mean, his confidence has not been good. First triple-double since last year, mm -hmm. literally. New Year's Eve was the last time he had a triple-double. Uh, good to see him kind of snap out of it tonight in a very big way. Uh, he, he had the big seal off Scotty Barnes, just kept going and going and going, found some room on the right side and threw up that three. As LeBron said, you know, he had the wherewithal to realize, maybe I'm a half inch too far over the line, Pulled it right back, shot the three. The refs looked at it. Indeed, it counted. A Lakers big picture.